Today, we are starting literally my dream project. This game is, is quite literally a passion project. At first, I wasn't going to make videos on it because I don't want to rush it, but I'm going to make videos and they'll just kind of come out when they come out. I'm not going to start it as like a, a crazy series that needs to have a video every day or anything like that. If I want to make a video on some stuff, I will. If some stuff I don't, well, I won't. Anyways, today we're going to model a BMX bike. I have a reference photo as well to help us out. So we're going to go right here, go to image, reference, and bring in a BMX bike. As you can see, this should be fairly easy to model, guys. I am going to try to make it as low poly as possible just because, well, there's probably going to be a lot of them. <laughs> and I need to make sure I do some things in different pieces because we'll be able to like recolor them and stuff like that for easy variants. I think to start things out, we're going to start with the tires. So for those, we're just going to bring in a cylinder. Let's go. Mesh cylinder. Perfect. And we're going to make this 16 sides because I do want it to be round but not exactly, uh, you know, ridiculous. <laughs> We're gonna press G, drag this over to here. I am using a reference for 90% of stuff in this game because it's just that important of a game to me. We should probably make this the actual rim and not the tire. And then we can kind of extrude off of it for the tire. All right, so this will work for the rim. Let's grab this edit mode S Y to scale it in. Something like that should work for us. We're gonna grab all of these faces here and extrude along face normals, Alt E and right there, extrude along face normal. Uh, probably scale those in as well and we're gonna bring this uh quite up all right this is definitely gonna need to be thicker so i'm gonna grab up here and do sy like that let's add some loop cuts in here and do sy to those as well we got both cuts there we go we're gonna do shade smooth and then auto smooth of course it'll make it look a little bit less low poly and i think i'm gonna add one more loop cut in the middle here and just scale that out a little bit we may change up the tire a little bit later but for now it's all good let's line this back up perfect we're gonna grab another cylinder we'll keep it at 16 sides just so it matches flip it 90 scale it way down we are gonna wait on the spokes guys because i'm not exactly sure how i want to do them in the best way for the game so we are gonna wait on the spokes uh let's go ahead and duplicate this tire and move it to the front oh yeah look guys it's already it's already a bike what can i say we're gonna grab both sides alt e extrude along face normals and we're gonna do it one more time oh yeah that's what i'm talking about and guys all we need to do now i should probably separate this piece actually let's just do plus 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 p and selection there we go all all I need to do now is add six-sided cylinders for the frame. It's not really something that's going to be too entertaining to watch, so I'm just going to do it real quick. All right, so I've got kind of things connected. I still need to do the back piece right here. We'll get to that very shortly. We will have to make it kind of bend out and around the tires. Now, let's see. I do want to have a little bit of detail. It doesn't need to be the utmost by any means, and scale it down over the time, so like this. And now for the pedals, I think I'm going to do kind of the same thing. Now, I will add a bit more detail in the pedals uh a little bit later probably i don't know exactly how those need to work you know what let's let's quit saying later guys let's quit saying later let's scale this down on the z-axis a little bit more back into solid view edit mode face select there we go we're gonna press inset twice to do individuals not bad kind of looks cool let's do x delete faces i'm just gonna do s and x and honestly i mean that's a pedal and then we just grab both of these shift d about the same distance away and boom guys we will definitely need a sprocket uh i'm just deciding if I want to do all the teeth and stuff or just make it a circle. It's kind of one of those things like it would make sense for it to have teeth, but on the flip note, yeah, it would just be a lot more uh, tries, polys, whatever you want to call it. We're going to go ahead and move on to the seat, and I am going to use a cube once again. Tap into edit mode. We're going to do S and X to scale it over this way, and I'm not going to rotate the seat just yet. I think I'm going to have about four loop cuts that we can kind of play with, and let's kind of shape out a seat. Let's scale this one down, move it up, and I want the front of the seat bent a little bit. So let's go ahead and rotate this. It's a little long. Oh, yeah, we actually kind of nailed the shape. We have a bit to do here still oh yes guys go to vertices select mode and kind of move these around maybe something like that and i think all edges are gonna need a bevel on the top at least hey not that bad i'll take it oh yes guys we're definitely starting to get a little bit of a bike man it is bugging me that this is not how a bike would work it would be more like perfectly straight with each other and then we'll rotate the pedal yeah that makes a lot more sense i really don't like how this seat turned out <laughs> Let me try to work on it a little bit. I already think that looks miles better, like genuinely. Uh, I did notice the seat here. Yeah, we should probably change that a little bit. I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna do S Shift Z. 
That's gonna make it so it doesn't scale at all on the z-axis and we just need it more pronounced And we can also delete the top piece here So we're gonna go into edit mode grab all of these faces here x faces boom They're gone. We just didn't need them at all shift a cylinder six sides already. There we go Let's rotate it 90 degrees and now we're going to make this part of the bike guys Let me just scale this down and get it to line up with this piece first got to keep in mind This is seeing both sides. So we need to do something like this. Go into edit mode, wireframe mode, and go all the way back to right here. Honestly, that kind of works. Maybe bring it in a little bit and make sure it's not peaking the other side. Now we can just duplicate that, flip it 180 degrees, R190. That didn't exactly work. <laughs> Let me get the rest of this back piece done and I'll be back. Just like that, we've got the back end done. I even sank the vertices sort of in to the mesh here. Now these, uh, I actually just noticed, I haven't done anything on the bottom here. Uh, so I gotta fix those. Now I'm gonna grab these, rotate them 180 degrees, just to make sure they're not touching on either side. But up next, let's go ahead and make the fork. In with the picture, and uh, let's just see how we wanna do this. Something like this. So let me do L, P, selection. Now let's bring in a six-sided cylinder, scale it down, wireframe mode, of course, guys. And we're basically going to have to redo what we did on the back, making it kind of smoothly go into, uh, you know, this weird little piece here, which we may actually be able to use. It's looking good. With a little bit of work, we can most definitely use it. There we go. Not bad. Let's grab this again, go into our solid view, and uh, let's see. Let's move the fork to connect with this. Oh, yeah. This is looking pretty nice. And there we go. Go guys, we have this side of the fork. Now we're gonna grab this and try to mirror it. Yo, looking pretty good if you ask me. And let's remove the bike picture to see how we're looking now. Heck yeah. We definitely have a little bit more work to do on this fork though. So let's see what we can do. Let's grab these and these, go back into solid and just try to fix it some. Not horrible. I think these need to be a little bit thicker. Uh, let's go ahead and do, let's do like a placeholder sprocket for now. I'm gonna grab a cylinder. Here is the sprocket. We'll make some sort of design on it, I guess. Now I'm gonna grab all these faces, then go on our line select mode and deselect the outer two lines. Do checker deselect once again. And now we have a cool spiked look for the sprocket. Might have to remake that later. Uh, I think that looks better personally. Oh yeah, that is looking pretty good. All right, guys, so here's where we're at so far, and the handlebars look absolutely tragic. Like, genuinely, everything looks good till you get to the handlebars. Scale those in, and boom, they already look better. Like, genuinely better. All right, I just pulled in a reference for some handlebars and lined it up. These will look good on the bike. They're a bit lower than the ones I currently have, but maybe that's why mine looks so ridiculous. Right there looks good. Now, I'm gonna loop cut the middle, go to face select mode, delete delete this whole side over here. I'm gonna extrude, move it up, rotate, and just do that for the whole bars. They look a little strange without that crossbar section, but we're gonna do that right now. I think the easiest way would just be another cylinder. Make it the same size, scale her down. Right now they're too straight, so let's do plus. <laughs> we didn't want to grab that middle one. I think something like that is actually a pretty good bar shape. I need to add some sort of chain thing, spokes, and grips. It's going good. It's going good. Spokes are done. They were nice and easy. I just used a cylinder, but brought it all the way down to three sides. It's the easiest way for me and the least taxing for the game. For the chain, I just did uh, sort of the same thing I do for trees and then just connected them with a skin modifier. I am going to grab these real quick. Extrude along face normals. Bring them into the bar a little bit. They're just not too necessary. Any Anyways, our bike is done. Let's go ahead and group things where they need to be and ungroup where they're not meant to be. All right, guys, I just got the bike into Roblox Studio and dropped some color on it. Took me a little bit to make sure everything was separated the perfect way and all that good stuff. Anyways, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.